हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सी आर एस अग्रवाल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू हाउ टू प्रिपेयर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट यू नो दैट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट इज कवर्ड बाय पेपर टू ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड अकाउंटेंसी ऑप्शनल इन सिविल सर्विसेज इन पेपर टू देर आर फोर सब्जेक्ट्स ऑर्गनाइजेशन थ्योरी ऑर्गनाइजेशन बिहेवियर ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रिलेशन इन पेपर टू ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट कैरीज अराउंड हंड्रेड मार्क्स सो आउट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मार्क क्वेश्चन यू कैन अटेम्प्ट एच आर एम फॉर अराउंड हंड्रेड मार्क्स सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेट एस सी द सिलेबस ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेवन चैप्टर्स जस्ट लाइक एनी अदर सब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट चैप्टर रिलेट्स टू नेचर ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट सो यूल सी द मीनिंग डेफिनेशन फीचर्स importance of uh, human resource management challenges of human resource management and second which is most important chapter also so before you do all other things uh, first you have to do planning of human resources and conduct job analysis so hr planning and job analysis that is second and most important chapter third interesting chapter is recruitment selection orientation and placement uh, it is easy but less important chapter right it is related to hiring the workers or acquiring the workers and once workers have been hired the next chapter is training and development training and development that is skill building of the worker personality building of the workers that is essential for productive resource use and once workers are trained and developed they are put to work they after they perform so we have to conduct appraisal of performance so fifth unit is performance appraisal and 360 degree feedback and you know after performance workers need to be paid so sixth unit relates to salary and wage administration and one technical topic job evaluation is also covered here and last topic is employee welfare promotion separation etc that is the end result or last stage in any human resource management let us see <coughs> books for preparation of human resource management very good book is available that is cb gupta human resource management a thick edition is there you should purchase the latest edition and it is comprehensive book there is no need to see any other book aswathapa or other book not required and besides this you should update yourself with important corporate world practices but take care in human resource management daily you will find dozen of current affairs in ot ob and ir so rarely there are current affairs but in hrm daily you will find uh, dozens of current affairs so be very selective for example if you come across any good hr policy hr practice in any organization so make a noting there of if you learn about new methods of training make a noting there of or new salary system started for example variable pay started by tcs and it companies instead of fixed pay you say take noting there of uh, right and uh, if you want to do these at one place uh, you can go for rankers study material and rankers classes you will not have to worry about uh, cb gupta or other books also because we have compiled material by considering various books we have integrated current affairs also so our study material and classes uh, definitely that would be much much superior than these sources right let us see broad strategy among broad strategy always my focus is uh, how well you can write in your examination hall hrm is such a subject that if you are having good conceptual clarity at least 40% of the answer can be written because once your concepts are clear you won't have to revise it time and again a brief idea would generate a sequence and you can write uh, so in hrm you can write at least 40% of the answer on the basis of your conceptual clarity for example if you know what is hrm what is the scope of hrm what is importance of hrm right so your concepts will help write the answer but memory of important facts terms theories and pointers are necessary that is having around 1/3 utility or 30% utility this is the area where you have to revise for example on importance of hrm you remember 3 to 4 points by your conceptual clarity but to write 6 points or 7 points uh, you need to revise because points skip and another integrated knowledge 30% utility that is very high among ot ob hrm and ir hrm is the only subject where your knowledge reading concepts of one chapter are useful in 
all the other chapters really all the chapters of hrm are in a sequence for example nature of hrm will help understand job uh, hr planning on the basis of plan we recruit workers and recruited workers are given training and after training there is performance appraisal salary and wage administration so all of these are done in a sequential manner so good knowledge of first chapter will help you better knowledge of second chapter so in this manner good knowledge of chapter number 1 and 2 can be written by you in the third and fourth chapter so it is very high integrated knowledge means uh, after reading hrm it would be less stressful right you can write concept written studied in one chapter as per needs of the second and third chapter also right besides this as a broad strategy you must do answer writing practice during hrm during study of hrm it should not be a separate work when you are reading first chapter so questions related to first chapter should be identified and written by you so it cannot be done separately and for complete uh, concepts and facts three four revisions are necessary for getting good score in hrm right let us see strategy in detail topic wise strategy in detail first topic is nature of hrm on nature of hrm many things are to be covered but most important thing is nature and features of hrm because on features of hrm you may be asked questions for example hrm is full of paradoxes so unless you understand the features of hrm unless you understand its nature well you cannot write that answer that is essential features must be understood properly to write answer thereafter objectives and significance uh, upsc has repetitively asked uh, analytical questions on objectives and significance of hrm means human resource management is essential for success and survival of any organization so with success and survival objectives and significance can be connected that must be done well you may not be asked direct question direct question means you may be asked uh, write a short note on significance of hrm instead of writing this way asking this way upsc may ask uh, uh, good hr practices contribute to success and survival of the organization give your view point here you have to write importance of hrm significance of hrm and uh, modern hr practices uh, because working of the organizations is affected by working of hr departments so upsc has been asking uh, impact related questions on hrm for example on green hrm for example outsourcing of hr activities impact of it on organizations impact of it on hr functions so that should be done these are the modern hr practices challenges before hrm are equally important so this is first chapter second chapter is human resource planning that is big chapter and very important chapter in human resource planning you must be very clear about all of these things uh, like nature of human resource planning features of human resource planning so on nature and features only upsc may frame uh, quotation based question and you have to answer it need and importance also that hr planning is most basic work uh, explain so that is point of need means before you do recruitment selection training and development of the workers uh, you have to make hr plan means how many workers would be needed uh, when they would be needed uh, what would be the skill requirements uh, so in this manner planning is essential so and utility can also be asked directly means what is utility of good hr plan for recruitment of workers uh, for training and development uh, for performance appraisal etc so you have to write utility for different functions of hrm another is challenges in hr planning challenges in hr planning because in a complex environment dynamic environment uh, and organizations having variety of workers uh, hr planning is not an easy task that is very important and this has also been asked by upsc factors affecting hrm so question was asked uh, that uh, different organizations need different kind of hr planning why so in that case you have to write uh, factors affecting hr planning as a part of hr planning an important topic is job analysis because before you make any plan you have to conduct study of the job through job analysis you will find job description 
जॉब स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड जॉब इवेल्युएशन दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक हेयर क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट ऑन कंसेप्ट ऑफ जॉब एनालिसिस मीन्स स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन में भी आस्ट सो जॉब एनालिसिस इज ए साइंटिफिक प्रोसेस ऑफ नोइंग द नेचर एंड स्कोप ऑफ द जॉब एलोबरेट सो मस्ट बी क्लियर अबाउट कंसेप्ट एंड फीचर्स सिग्निफिकेंस यूटिलिटी सजेशंस टू मेक इट इफेक्टिव ऑल ऑफ दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन जॉब एनालिसिस वेरियस कंसेप्ट आर देयर लाइक रोल एनालिसिस दैट शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड वेल राइट कम नेक्स्ट now recruitment selection orientation and placement this is easy topic but not very important right though it covers a lot of pages but you should cover it uh, so what is uh, for example with regard to recruitment you should know about various sources of recruitment what is the process of recruitment uh, strategic importance of recruitment that is important that is very important challenges and hurdles to recruitment are also important these are easy going but important and there after selection among selection concept importance process psychological tests are very important you should prepare it well there are various psychological tests like uh, thematic a perception test or uh, <coughs> mbti so you should prepare these tests properly so on each test a uh, question may be asked right and thereafter orientation so once any worker has been selected in the organization so you have to orient them so though it is a small sub topic but uh, significant objectives and significance of orientation are very important here question may be asked and last is placement placement is also very small topic so process of placement significance of placement uh, so it can be asked so this is uh, scope of chapter number three as a whole this chapter is known as hiring the workers let us see further next is training and development uh, definitely it is important topic so after uh, this human resource planning this is important topic both are different things uh, so you must know the concept of training features of training and how it is different from development and education training is job specific skill building but so far development is concerned it is uh, developing broader personality of the workers right need and benefits of training techniques and forms of training etc should be prepared well <coughs> and modern it based methods of training that is very important modern it based methods of training is very important right and with regard to development uh, in development various methods of development are important certain methods related to decision making certain methods related to behavioral that are very important here short note may be asked in decision making method like case studies case studies like management games are important right and comparison among methods like comparison between management games and case studies may also be asked and uh, definitely whether it is a training or management modern methods like uh, mobile based training mobile based development use of ai in executive development may be asked so that is with regard to training and development let us see performance appraisal and 360 degree feedback in order to make any organization effective in order to take maximum benefit of workers abilities their training it is essential to regularly appraise their performance so another important chapter so concept of performance appraisal what is significance so here questions are asked here questions are asked on significance and various techniques on individual technique questions may be asked for example uh, bell curve method question may be asked behaviorally anchored rating skills so here question may be asked right and uh, <coughs> next is 360 degree feedback so this is modern approach to performance appraisal so questions on concept feature need utility so these are important so generally questions are asked on need of 360 degree feedback process is easy 
so you may be asked questions analytical question on limitations of 360 degree feedback because 360 degree feedback is easy to say but difficult to conduct so practical problems arise on which questions may be asked if you are asked limitations you must try to answer on suggestions also so that is with regard to performance appraisal and next is uh, salary and wage administration that is very important but uh, generally questions are not asked from this uh, topic uh, so must be clear about uh, what is salary and wage administration so meaning of salary meaning of wages fringe benefit and prerequisites uh, till date question has not been asked question may be asked on significance of salary and wage administration challenges in salary wage administration on wage policy question is highly expected on wage policy question is highly expected right factors affecting wage policy definitely very important you should prepare because in two organizations or two nations or two states salary and wage rates cannot be same various internal and external factors affect salary and wage various incentive plans so there are various plans like halse plan rowan plan gent plan taylor plan malik merrick plan so on individual plan short note may be asked so it is suitable for short note about each plan you should be clear about the two three positive points and two three negative points uh, so that would suffice and here profit sharing product utility incentives uh, so that is important product utility incentive even upsc has asked question on productivity wage so that is uh, salary and wage administration and one matching topic is job evaluation so that is very important job evaluation is very important because upsc has asked questions on analytical questions on job evaluation the meaning features and main thing is techniques there are four techniques of job evaluation so they should be prepared well like factor comparison method ranking method job classification method point method so all of these four techniques should be prepared well right and last is employee welfare promotion separation demotion so from here generally short note is asked so with regard to employee welfare you should prepare meaning significance and generally you should prepare you should focus statutory measures with regard to employee welfare so in factories act mines act various provisions are made for the safety of the workers welfare of the workers facilities for the workers not only that uh, uh <coughs> voluntary measures are also adopted by the organizations uh, for employee welfare that should be prepared promotion it is important among uh, chapter number 7 promotion is important and promotion this is more important that uh, whether promotion should be merit based or seniority based that should be prepared well you may be asked a short note on promotion policy right or disputes with regard to promotion policy that it is very difficult to draft a promotion policy because you have to draft either on the basis of merit or seniority so there would be clash separation is not very important but since current affairs are happening on layoff of workers for example during 21 22 it companies laid off or fired many workers so it got important labor turnover is a regular problem but it is covered by industrial relations unit number 7 so there you should study it and last is demotion till date question is not asked on demotion may be asked transfer types and benefits types are important on transfer right but not very regularly questions are asked right so in unit number 7 promotion is more important so this is all about various chapters of human resource management i would like to tell about ourselves we are rankers classes we are teaching commerce since the year 2002 so for the past 21 years we are teaching commerce we are having ample experience we have produced more than 270 ranks with commerce and accountancy by our students and during uh, past 15 years uh, we have produced uh, uh, a lot of ranks in top 30 such as rank number 2 rank number 6 8 9 10 11 12 13 15 15 15 so dozen of ranks are produced in top 30 right and this year grima lohia secured second rank she was our classroom course student in online mode right and we run variety of courses in 
for full fledged classroom course we are having two courses one is foundation course for those who want to prepare in detail second is advanced course so those whose concepts are already good or clear but want to have well guided preparation with revision of the subject also so you can go for advanced course and we are having four kinds of test series one is intensive test series in which we conduct chapter test subject test sectional test and comprehensive test we are having enriched test series also in which we conduct subject and comprehensive test and we are having a standard test series which is generally started after prelims examination in which we conduct 10 tests out of which there are sectional tests and comprehensive tests to strengthen you in numericals we are having a perfection in numericals test series and besides these we are having a postal course you can subscribe to our study material in online mode so through courier we send the study material right <coughs> if you want to contact us you can visit our office in rajendra nagar at this address near agarwal sweets or you can call us on these numbers or you can go our website or you can follow us on social media that is telegram or youtube or <coughs> instagram right and finally <coughs> she is grima loya our classroom course student she got second rank with commerce and accountancy and she was our online classroom course student first she joined paper 2 and later she joined paper 1 so this is all about the preparation of human resource management our result and our products thank you very much